Okay, good morning everyone. So today uh, we're gonna go over one of my customs. So this is my custom hatchet figure from the movie Hatchet, Victor Crawley. So he stands in about seven and a half, about seven and a half inches from the feet, about eight inches with the base. Um, spoke with Adam Green, the gentleman who made the movie, a uh, really nice guy. And if you haven't seen these movies, uh, you should do so. Uh, the specialness of these movies is they don't use CGI. They go back to the basics of movie making, which makes it awesome. Poor Victor Crawley was accidentally hit in the face with a hatchet by his father on Halloween because some kids threw firecrackers on the porch to get a look at the poor child who was Neanderthaled just to see what he looked like. But the firecrackers ended up catching the porch on fire and Victor Crawley's father went to save his son by trying to chop through the door with the hatchet. Unfortunately for his father, he did not know his son was just on the other side of the door and hit him in the face with the hatchet and killed him. Victor Crawley is a repeater ghost in the swamps and bayous of New Orleans. For you guys that don't know what a repeater is, it is a physical manifestation of a ghost that can do physical damage and no matter what you do to it, it will come back the next day and repeat. He is a repeater. Now, I did make a little diorama. Now, I put some body parts here from other displays and I, you know, you get these, they're not painted very well. I use a paint called Blood from the Blood Gods. It is by Citadel, and it is the only blood paint I suggest using. It looks real, and it makes a really nice color for blood. So I'll remove all these little tiny heads. As you can see how good that blood paint really looks. And we'll take a look at Victor here. So, as you can see, he is a beast. He is massive. He has tumors all over his face and head um, as he looks down with bad intention. Uh, bullet holes in him because they're shooting him, trying to stop him as we turn him. We can see uh, he's wearing overalls. He is a massive character, and he's played by Kane Hodder, the gentleman who played Jason Voorhees the most. One of Jason fans' favorite Jasons is Kane Hodder or C.J. Graham. I love Kane Hodder myself. So anyways, we're going to take a look at him from all the way around. His shoulders have big lumps and stuff on them from the tumors he grew. Um, the trees and little bushes in the back. His spine is definitely pronounced. As you can see, his spinal cord comes out. His hair in this one is not fluffy like the other ones. As you can see, it's all matted down with blood and wet from him ripping his victims apart. And as we go around, now this figure and some of these figures I make don't have tons of articulation because I'm not NECA and I don't have a computer where I can make ball joints on a machine after a big 18 inch sculpt and keep you know, dividing it and making it like that. But a lot of my figures I will start with a base character and make it where it has as much articulation as possible. So I can have him looking, you know, either direction, up or down. Usually down, because he's looking down on his victims. The hatchet I made, it's removable by hand. You can see it's covered in blood. So is his hands. He's been a dirty, dirty boy. And that is 
my Victor Crawley figure. Um, I started with a couple different figures and what you do is take a Dremel or a razor blade and just start cutting down the plastic until it's just a armature and then you can start your sculpting process on top of it and add your muscles and all the little textures and your hair and the pants and the wrinkles and all the stuff like that so we'll get him out of the way so hatchet part one awesome movie the kills in this are way over the top and they are awesome and the young girl who played jamie in halloween part four and five is the last girl in most of these movies hatchet part two now cool about these movies a lot of people that played other cool uh monsters like Candyman, uh robert england um you know the guy did texas chainsaw massacre so you're gonna get a bunch of cameos of you know famous monsters there's part three and that is what I based him off of. These are all on Blu-ray. You could also see this is kind of how I wanted him. So there's a movie, just Victor Crawley. And there he is in his ugly glory. Ugly, gory, beautiful bastard he is. So anyways, giving you a shot of it one more time. And uh, this is a custom 7-inch scale Victor Crawley from the movie Hatchet. And the hand moves on a swivel or joint there. Uh, the arms also move on swivel and joint. So I can have him faced this way. His arm like this, his hand tucked in. And tuck this hand down. And now he's just looking at you like, you are going to fucking die. Why are you in my swamp? <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my custom Victor Crawley figure. You have a great day, and uh, please subscribe and hit the like button. I would like to do more and show you guys more of my custom figures. And uh, in the future, I'll make videos on how to make your own custom figures and how to make replicas and how to do all that neat stuff that a lot of people wish they knew how to do, but don't because they just haven't been taught how. I would love to share my experiences and my art with other people, and I love seeing other people's art. Well, you have a great day from J&H Customs. Take it easy.